guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome back in St. Petersburg. I'm back here. Um, last time I was here it wasn't summer. No, it's not summer anymore, but the weather is beautiful outside. So I'm going to film a new episode and I'm going to use a camera that is brand new to the channel and it was gifted to me by one of you. So I'm going to use that today. Um, and it's this one here, it's the Cosina CT1A. It's an SLR, so you probably know that I prefer rangefinder cameras, but I think this camera has potential. And on here is a, the camera has a Pentax K mount, so I'm using a Pentax 28mm f2.8. And I think, like I just mentioned, the camera has potential, but more on that a little bit later. And to film the episode, of course, I need some film, and nothing wrong with this one. Fuji C200, a film that I really like. Unfortunately, not that cheap anymore, but this is one of the cheaper offerings you can get. And it's absolutely lovely. I like the colors it produces, so I'm going to shoot that. More on rating, how I rate the film and stuff later in the video. So I would say without further ado, Cosina CT1A Fuji C200, St. Petersburg. Let's go. Developing and scanning was kindly provided by Carmen Sita Film Lab. If you want to check them out, the link will be in the description box down below. Now, the question is, why do I think that this camera has potential? Um, and the reason is pretty simple. If you want to shoot um, film and you're new to film, um, you're looking at Leica's, whatsoever, and they're pretty expensive. The lenses are expensive. And then there's something like this. So the guy that sent me the or gifted me the camera told me that he picked this up for 50 euros, including a lens. Uh, it did not come with a um, 28, it came with a 50mm lens, but the camera looks like it's mint. It's like brand new almost, and for 50 bucks, and I looked it up on eBay, and that's the regular price this camera goes for. So, And also, um, in case you don't know, but Cosina, they are manufacturing, or they did manufacture a lot of cameras for other brands, so there's a lot of cameras that are based on this design here, um, and it works pretty well. It, Shutter speeds go to 1 1,000th, um, it has basically everything you need. It has a meter that works pretty well. I was not using it, but I tried it out and it works pretty well. And in case you're wondering about the lens here, um, this lens, it's a Pentax K-mount, like I said, 28mm f2.8. It's in really good condition. It has only one mark here in fr the front ring, but where is it? Over here. But that's pretty much it. The focusing is super smooth. Um, and I picked it up on eBay and it was like uh, 35 British pounds, so with um, shipping and stuff I paid around 55 euros. So be you basically can pick up this camera with a 28mm lens for less than 100 euros, which is 
I would say a pretty good price and especially this lens is considered to be really good. I haven't seen any result because this is the first time using it and yeah I mean can't wait to see it. Um, like I said the focusing is super smooth. The only thing uh, I'm missing is a focusing tab um, but it's an SLR so on SLRs there's usually there's no focusing tab on the lens so you have to deal with that but with the 28 it's not too bad because you can just pre-focus and use zone focusing uh, that's what I was doing here then it's pretty good and also the camera has uh, if you want to shoot like a 50 mil maybe it's not that great because there's no depth of field preview on this um, so if you're focusing uh, like you, you zone focus and you're focusing down to like one or two meters and you look through the viewfinder because if you look through everything will be uh, everything you will see is wide open if, and if it's a 1.4 lens so the, the whole screen will be blurry so it might be not too easy or not perfect for um, using it for zone focusing but with the 28 it's not a big of a deal so it's totally fine yeah like I said I think this camera if you want to get get into film photography or if you're already and you want to try out a 28 mil for street photography without losing too much money I think something like this would be a nice try and also it's way cheaper than a Nikon or a Canon or some other brands um, yeah I mean give it a try hopefully now prices on eBay won't go up like crazy but it's not my fault I did not pick out the camera in the first place so all right guys it's a beautiful day here I want to continue shooting this beast here В настоящее время здание занимает Государственный музей антропологии. Государственный народ и мемориальный музей Ломоносова. Во второй половине 18 века посвященный Стоит здание по центральной источнице. Вы познакомились с выдающимися памятниками архитектуры в I got really lucky with the weather when I arrived in St. Petersburg. For the first week I was there, it was absolutely beautiful and pretty much sunny every day. Thank 
Sorry. Guys, let me quickly run you through the settings that I'm using. Um, even though the camera has a meter, I'm not really using it, so I'm guesstimating the exposure. Uh, what I'm doing is I'm setting the shutter speed to 1 2 50th uh, for most of the shots and apertures between f5.6 to f8, most of the time in the sun, f8. Um, when it get, got a little darker, I dropped it down to uh, f2.8, but only occasionally. Or the shutter speed to 1 25th. Um, yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it about the settings in this camera. There's not much to talk about. One thing I forgot about to mention before is one downside of the camera is the, uh, the mirror slap. It's pretty loud, so, but it's, that's basically true for most of the SLR cameras. But still a good deal if you can find one for 50 bucks, including a lens. Um, other than that, I'm using a new uh, setup. So in some of the shots, at least, you can probably see the aperture that I'm using and maybe also uh, the focusing distance, thanks to the, this one here. Um, but the problem is, the, on this one, the battery life is pretty poor, so <laughs> it only lasted for a few shots and I had to recharge it and uh, it's not ideal. But I think it's a new perspective that uh, should be pretty interesting to see. And also I have a new main um, action camera that I'm using and this one here. It's the Insta, uh, one, uh, Insta 360 1R, one inch edition, oh my god, what a name. Uh, has a one inch sensor, so it should give me really good image quality. It's basically the same sensor that you can, or same size that you can find on the Sony RX100 series, so that should be pretty good. Um, yeah, other than that, um, I have a little bit of time left and some shots on the roll, so let's finish this off and continue shooting. Talk to you later. Alright guys, that's it for today's episode. If you liked it, don't forget to smash the like button because this helps me out. And also um, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this in the future. Uh, I have to say, the camera, shooting it is good fun. And also the lens 28, it's so small and the whole package is only like, I think a little over 500 grams, so it's pretty lightweight. Um, I guess, for, I mean, from what I've heard, the lens is pretty good, so it should be pl plenty sharp. So I guess the results uh, will look really nice. Um, can't wait to see it. Uh, yeah, guys, uh, that's it for today's video. And uh, before I forget, um, pick up one of my street photography scenes if you haven't, because this allows me to make more videos like this in the future. The link will be in the description box down below. All right, guys, um, that's it for, for here from St. Petersburg. Um, I have plenty of time here, so we'll shoot a lot of videos here. Um, I think this will be good fun. All right, guys, see you on the next one. 
Until then, auf Wiedersehen.